So in the kit, as you can see here, uh, we have an SSD external case, and that's for the existing SSD um, hard drive that's in here. So we're gonna take that out, put that in here. And what's good about that is that we can repurpose that drive and use it for other stuff, right? So that's good. Uh, and here, of course, we have um, the uh, Pentalobe uh, special um, screwdrivers. Uh, that are needed to of course take off the back panel of this um, MacBook Pro uh, so that we can get access to the enclosure and so that we can then take out the SSD um, uh, drive and replace it with the new drive which is this way here it's a one terabyte drive um, I'm taking out the 128 gig putting in the one uh, the one terabyte and here we have some instructions now as you can see there is this yellow and black sticker on this drive meaning that you have to be very careful when handling uh, drives like this. Um, you know, these things are susceptible to be easily damaged through uh, electrostatic charge. So, you know, it's winter here in Canada, so the air is very dry. So I would recommend um, that you ground yourself before you handle this equipment so that you don't damage uh, the, 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 um, the drive. And if even if you... Uh, and, uh, and, and what you can also do as well, if you do have an ESD strap, is like an electrostatic discharge strap. You put it on your wrist and you ground yourself off uh, so that you don't risk uh, damaging your equipment. But, you know, if you don't have that, just ground yourself, uh, you know, and then, you know, keep keep still, keep um, work, <laughs> work, just ground yourself. And uh, just, you know, when you handle this, just make sure you don't touch the, the um, connectors, right? Just as an extra precaution. All right, so we're gonna let's take uh, take the back panel off of this thing and let's get access to the old drive and swap it out. Now, before you do a swap out of your drive, you need to do a full backup. Uh, now, one of my favorite applications for backing up my drive, uh, my Mac drive in my MacBook Pro is um, Time Machine, and that's the app right here. So you run this application, follow the instructions, and do a full backup of your drive. Okay, so um, just to let you know, this is the early 2013 model with Retina display. And I already love this laptop. Uh, it's worked well over the years. And it's time, you know, I decided it's time to in <laughs> increase the uh, m m uh, hard drive capacity, right? Um, so let's get to the back here. And we're going to take these. 10 screws out. Now, although I could use these tools that it came with, I already have uh, an electric micro screwdriver set, so I'm just going to use this instead. Okay, uh, I've removed all the screws. So here's the SSD drive, the 128 gig. There's a 3.1 millimeter Torx screw at the top here that I have to take off. Yeah, this is a 3.1 uh, millimeter T5 Torx screw that I'm going to take out here. So what I'm going to do here now is lift this up slightly. Like so, and slowly pull this back out, like so, and that's the old, good old faithful 128 gig SSD drive. You've done your job, now it's time for somebody else to take your place. So out you go, and in its place we're going to take out the lovely 1 terabyte SSD here. 
Now remember what I said about not touching the because I'm already already I already I already grounded myself, but just to be on the safe side, don't want to be touching these contacts here at the top, right? And the way the grooves are done, there's only one way this can go in, and that's that way, right? So I'm just gonna put this in again at an angle like this, right? slightly push it in like that and that's in place and then it's replaced the torque screw now put the torque screw back in place and there you have it we have successfully replaced the 128 gig SSD with our newfangled one terabyte of SSD storage. Now, we've cl I just cleaned, I just vacuumed, lightly vacuumed the dust and stuff because they had an, an accumulation of dust in here. Now, I have to make sure. Oh, one thing to notice so, in this particular model of, model of MacBook Pro, there's these mini magnets here. They actually come out. So, when you take the top off, they actually connect and make contact with these uh, two contact areas here. So one actually came out when I took the top off. So make sure that when you do take the top off, that these are still in place. And if they do come out, just put them back in, right? So I just had to put one back in there. Uh, so that's all you have to, to make sure you do. So that's it. So we're gonna put the cover back on here. Let's put back the screws in place. Now, one thing to remember with this particular model, the eight screws on the outside here, along the bottom and along the top, they are your 3.0 millimeter um, um, pentalobe screws. And the two here in the middle are the smaller 2.3 um, millimeter screws. So just remember that. So just to show you what I'm talking about. So remember I said that along the bottom and along the top, you have to make sure to use the correct size screws when you're screwing back in the back the back panel of your MacBook Pro. So these screws are these four here and these four as you can see, they are three millimeters in, in height. And the two millimeter ones in the middle, they're a little shorter as you can see, right? So make sure that you put the right screws in the right spots when you put this back together. So that's it. All the screws are back in place. Now, it's time to turn this bad boy on. Uh, boot off the USB stick and reinstall the Mac OS Catalina. <laughs> Before we go over to our MacBook Pro, this kit came with this external SSD uh, case. Um, and I'm going to put the old 128 gig um, drive from the MacBook Pro in here. So I can actually repurpose this and use it as some external storage, right? And it's nice and compact and it looks pretty cool. So this particular unit needs these mini um, Phillips heads. So I do have that in my kit here. Oh, this is pretty nice. So here's my 128 gig. Slide that in place here. Oh, before I do that, actually, hold on one thing. 
Just loosen this nut, this uh, hair. Say that in place. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I'm appreciative of that as well. So thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye bye.